Good afternoon and welcome to Nora's Dog Training Company. We are here with Brandy and Harry and we're going to demonstrate all the obedience commands your guys learned here at school. We're going to start off by introducing the training equipment and Brandy's got a standard six foot web training leash and she keeps the bulk of that leash folded neatly in her right hand which leaves her left hand free to make any correction and the only correction we give here at school is a little tug and release from the training collar which is the second piece of equipment. Now we'll show you how to properly put that on and use it when Harry goes home on Saturday. Now you'll notice Harry is seated very nicely at Brandy's left, which is where all of our training takes place. And the first command we're going to demonstrate is healing. Healing is properly walking on the leash, and the command is Harry heal. Now at this job, at this point he's got a job to do, and that's to stay even with Brandy's left leg. No forging your head, no lagging behind. And whenever Brandy stops, Harry's been trained to automatically sit and wait for the next command. If she slows down or increased pace, Harry should adjust to her pace, and that's the idea. That you're not speeding up for him, he's speeding up or slowing down for you. Another nice quick automatic sit. Now the next command we're going to demonstrate is the sit stay. The sit stay is a hand and a voice command. Brandy uses her left hand and the one word firm command to stay. Now since he is so young, Start off about 20 or 30 seconds and slowly work your way up to three minutes, but take your time getting to that three minute mark. And you notice when Brandy walks all the way around Harry counterclockwise, he doesn't get up, he doesn't move, he sits there and waits for another command. And all of these commands are designed to make Harry just a better listener, a better companion, and just a better off, better overall, better dog. As you know, he's got a lot of spunk and a lot of personality. He is really sweet. He's a lot of fun, but he can be a handful. Brandy has him another sit stay. Instead of returning back to Harry, she's going to call him out of this. The command is Harry, come. We lighten the tone of our voice. His job is to come back to Brandy and sit facing his trainer. Then they get back to heel position, and she's done that very nicely. Now the weather all of a sudden went from 50 degrees to almost 90 degrees today, so the dogs and the humans are suffering a little bit. He's staying right with Brandy, no jumping, no pulling, matching pace. She gives him another stay command. Brandy goes out to the end of her six foot training lead, makes him hold that command for a second or two, and then she'll call him out of that. The command is Harry come. Like I said before, the, the come command should be a happy command. We want him to come back. We want him to sit when he gets to you and then wait for his next command and then take off healing again. We like to practice these commands with our guys here at school at least twice a day. We keep our training sessions relatively short. 10 or 15 minutes is plenty long enough for a young puppy like Harry. But it's important that you do incorporate these commands like we're doing on the video every day. Another nice automatic sit. Now the next command we're going to show you is going to be the down from heel position. Brandy uses her left hand. Down. And the one word from command to down and to stay. Now with a down stay, we'll say eventually they can last a little longer. You can start off at 30 to 45 seconds or so. Work your way up to five minutes. Now if he catches a scent or sees a bug and gets up, make him go right back to that down command and finish it the way it's designed. Don't let him get away with that. I know with Harry, his mind's going a mile a minute all the time, and it's tough to stay focused, but this is what this training is, is designed to do, to make him be more focused, more mature, and just a better listener. Another nice automatic sit. We'll show you that down from heel position again. He goes right into that down with a little bit of attitude, of course. And then instead of returning back to her dog, she'll call him out of that down stay. It's Harry come. Again, he comes back and he should sit. Very nice. And then Harry gets back to heel position. Then they take off healing again. His shoulder blade should stay relatively even with your left leg when healing, so you shouldn't have to speed up or slow down for him. Another nice automatic sit. And then the last command we can demonstrate is going to be Harry's ability to lay down from a distance. Brandy can put Harry in a sit-stay. Stay. She'll walk out a couple steps. This time she'll use her right hand and the one word firm command to down. Down. Now you could clearly see he knew what he was supposed to do, but he was like, Brandy, you're going to make me do this. 
and she didn't give up, and that's what, exactly what you're going to have to do. If you tell Howard to do something, he should follow that command. Don't get frustrated. We want this to be a happy thing. Very good. He's done a really, really nice job here at school. Keep in mind, we're always here for you after Harry goes home. We want to thank you so much for using Nora's Dog Training Company as your personal dog trainer. I don't think it'll be quite as hot on Saturday as it is today when you pick Harry up. We look forward to seeing you then. You guys have a great day. We'll talk to you soon.